Okay, now we are going to learn how to create tables. Um, designers, uh, they use a lot of tables in web pages because um, tables can actually organize data neatly. Okay, um, we don't want to have so much of wording, uh, paragraphs, uh, headings, you know, too much of that. It makes reading very difficult. So what we can do is we can organize the data or information in tables. Okay, so let me show you one example. If you want to create a table, there's a few tags that you need to remember. One is table tag. When you open, immediately close it. Okay, all right. Tables will have rows and columns. Okay, rows go from left to right and columns go from top to bottom. So whenever you create tables, you need to have row first. Open with a TR tag and immediately close it. And inside the TR, which is the row, you create the cells. The cells we call it as TD. We use the TD tag, table data. So this is the place that you will key in the data or information that you want to display. Okay. So here I'm going to create three cells. All right. So here I have it. Three cells. Done. Okay. So here I have one complete table, one row, and inside the row I have three columns. So I'm just going to put something here, ID, name, and maybe CGPA. All right, save. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is what I'll get. This is a table, but it looks weird in a way that it doesn't have a border. Okay, so we need to add a few properties. First thing, I need to put a border. So border, I can put as one basically uh, one pixels save this and I'll get this and uh, now it's much more clearer you can see the structure of the table so what happens if I put in a bigger number is it good or is it bad refresh it looks a bit weird okay but then it's up to you how you want to design your table for me I think one is enough okay now it looked very it's looking very cramped okay meaning there's no extra space between the text and the border i don't really like it it looks very messy so what you can add on is actually the width you can put as maybe 50 percent okay so what happens if you put 50 percent it will be half of your browser Okay, 50% of your browser. If you put 25%, it will be quarter of your browser. And remember, whenever you use percentage, if you resize your browser, your table will resize together with it. Alright. Uh, for me personally, I think I prefer to use pixels. So let's put as uh, 300 <coughs> pixels and save this and let's look at the output okay this is 300 pixels if you use pixels when you resize your browser your content basically your table doesn't resize all right so this is what we have so far so i want to add on a few more rows all right <coughs> so i'm going to copy this I It'll be easy uh, to copy and paste rather than to type everything out again. Okay, I'm going to put some contents. So, 100, maybe the name is uh, Alex. Maybe Alex uh, CGPA is maybe 3.44. And then we have another friend, uh, maybe 200. Maybe Mary. And maybe Mary did not study that well, so maybe 2.90. Save. <coughs> so this is what you'll have. Okay. So you have table, 
you have TR for the row and you have TD for you to put in the content remember you only type at the TD portion don't type anywhere else okay let's look at this particular table it looks very blank meaning there's no title for the table so if you want to put a title what you can do is you can put caption so maybe you can put a results students results this will be the caption or the title for the table so where is the location of this particular uh, tag at the output refresh it will be on top and it will be centered okay so very simple you can even make it in italics you can even bold it you can even underline it so make sure you use the proper text for it okay so let's look back at this particular table everything is td 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 but if you look closely this first row is actually the header all right so i want it to be slightly special so instead of using td right i'm going to use th th is table header so you will see what's the effect later when i refresh okay save this and refresh okay can you see a difference whenever you use th table header that particular cell will be automatically bold and it will be centered so you can use this wherever you want to emphasize okay it doesn't have to be only rows uh, it doesn't have to be only columns it can be rows you can put wherever you want as long as you want to stress that particular cell you can put th okay and uh, another thing is um, you not only can put the size for your table you can even put a size for your columns like for example this particular column cgpa okay uh, there's only a few numbers inside this particular column so i don't want it to be too big because it looks very empty so what i can do is i can go to the third column and adjust the width so where is this third column it is actually this this and this but you always go to the first one because if you do it to the first one the rest will follow so you can even set a width here so maybe you can put it as maybe um, 70 pixels is it still too big okay let's check out yes it's okay all right so you can adjust individual cells just put a width for it so now you know how to create tables the tags involved are table tr th td and caption if you want it if you don't want it you can remove it